Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I have Nicole here from Banana TV. So I brought you onto the show here today to do like an interview slash discussion and I wanna focus mainly on fitness. I mean, a lot of people talk about like diet stuff and like weight loss and you know, I wanna talk about your experience and the benefits you've experienced, but specifically fitness and like how to go from not so fit to like you know doing yeah. half marathons and triathlons and half ironmans and cool. all that stuff yeah um so do you want to first start saying like how long you've been vegan for yeah sure like a little bit about your story um yeah so i'm nicole from banana tv and i've been vegan for about almost five years now and yeah, originally I came to the lifestyle, found the vegan lifestyle for weight loss reasons. And then I ended up, you know, just keep finding more and more information for why, more and more reasons for why I should stick with it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, I didn't think about becoming as athletic as I, as I am now. It kind of just happened and I definitely blame the, the vegan lifestyle for that high carb vegan lifestyle. I blame you veganism. <laughs> you made me so fit. <laughs> Of course, aside from being uh, part of Banana TV with your girlfriend Kaylee, um, you are also a cyclist, mm -hmm. triathlete. Would you label yourself as that? Yeah. A runner. <laughs> yeah, kind of a little bit of everything else. I'm also in the gym. Um, recently, I just started getting a little more serious in triathlon training. Um, last, or March, in March, this last March. A couple months ago, March, March 20th. I did um, my first half Ironman, and yeah, that was a, a nice accomplishment. And what does that entail? What is? So yeah, a half Ironman is a, like a two kilometer swim, a 90 kilometer bike, and then a half marathon run. Damn, that's a half. That's just a half, half yeah. Ironman, <laughs> so you can tell how, fish, how fit you are. <laughs> you said that you weren't that athletic before. Did you, any, did, did you do any sports? Kid, or is it just like you went to veganism and you're like wow I really like this now yeah I mean I was pretty I was pretty athletic in high school like I, my favorite class was PE class of course and I did a little bit of soccer in high school and like kickboxing on the side but nothing like compared to, to now it was kind of just like to get act to be active or to be social with my friends and to do something other than study at school yeah, yeah. And so I want to talk about the ex the benefits you've experienced, not just with fitness, but the high carb, whole foods, plant based mm. diet. I know that you lost 30 pounds mm -hmm. or more than that. Yeah, I think it's like 20 pounds, 20 or 40. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I, I I did lose a lot of weight coming to this lifestyle. I also cleared up my acne. Um, I also used to suffer with digestive problems. Like I was constipated. I know maybe this is too much information for a lot of people, but there yeah. were times that I didn't go to the bathroom for like weeks. And now I'm like, you know, every single day, more than once a day, and it's so awesome. Yeah, if you're not pooping, something's wrong with you. Yeah, something's definitely we wrong. We have to eliminate. Okay. Where is it going? It's just staying oh, yeah. in your system, the toxins. Yeah, so it was mostly the weight loss, the digestive thing, that was like the biggest thing for me. Acne. Um, and just say, yeah, I have so much more energy, and yeah, I just I feel amazing. That's awesome. So, when did you start being more consistent? Like, because you said you like PE class, you uh. like to be more active. When was, when did it, the switch go from I like to work out to I'm an athlete? Yeah, in the last year, in the last year or two, if you check my Strava, if anyone is on Strava, you can see like. In the last year, I was actually like super consistent with my training and started taking it really seriously. But as soon as I started, like as soon as I came to this lifestyle and like experimented around a little bit and then found out about the high carb part of it and just like, you know, making sure that you're getting in the right amount of calories and the right kind of calories um, is when I just like felt a shift in my energy and I just, every morning I woke up and I was like, I wanna do something. Like I wanna ride my bike or go to the gym or, take a class or try something or challenge myself in some way and yeah the, I mean the more I did that the more I like learned about my body and um, yeah I just, it just started growing from there but yeah I think the last year is when I really started being consistent and a little more serious with like racing yeah. and stuff. I see all the posts on Facebook like I did this race, did this yeah. race, oh my god. 
I mean, I know the difference between how people feel um, between like high carb and high fat because we've both been there. Mm -hmm. But do you want to just talk a little bit about that? Because I know you were like high fat raw as like when you first went vegan. Like, mm -hmm. how have you felt differently on high carb and high fat? Like the difference and how has your performance changed between them? Oh yeah, like you do, you can feel the difference right away. Like if I'm eat, if I eat high, even if I eat like a, a big meal of durian over here, um, I can feel the difference in my performance on the bike when I'm going up the way to step. Um, yeah, when I first came to this lifestyle, I was actually raw because I just I didn't really know. I thought that was like the best yeah. way to go. And living on the island, it's really hard to get ripe fruit all the time, and it's also really expensive. So I was eating higher, higher fat diets, so like bags of nuts and like you know six avocados in one sitting and that kind of stuff. And it was good for a while, but then my body kind of caught up, and mm -hmm. yeah, I started actually gaining a lot, a lot of weight. And um, I'm not sure if it was detox or not, but I also broke out a lot when I was eating high fat. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people come to this lifestyle like either high fat vegan or high fat raw vegan I know I did at first for a little bit and like you do feel good and, but what people don't understand is like it's comparison to what you used to eat right. you're gonna feel so much better if you're having like raw nuts and seeds and some salad is better than having animal products but right. it's not as good as having fruit and potatoes mm -hmm. and rice so it's not really as sustainable right so my next question is if someone is you know, it watches what you do, is inspired by other vegan athletes, and they, you know, they know how to ride a bike, and they know how to run, but they're not active, and they don't necessarily want to become, like, a triathlete by any means, but they want to be fit. Like, what would you say is the first step into being more consistent with exercise? Yeah, so one of the first things that I did, and what got me started and motivated, and like, just, yeah, is getting on Strava. Strava. Yeah, Strava is super important, super motivating. So get yourself a Garmin um, and get yourself on Strava. And what you can do is just kind of challenge yourself. You don't have to race others. There's all kind of um, like segments in your in your area that you can you know try and beat your time on. There's also challenges that you can get like little trophies or whatever. Yeah. And it's like it's kind of like the Facebook for at you're on Strava. Right? Yeah. I, oh, I was just gonna say if you can't afford a Garmin. You, it's, oh, you can yeah. just get an app on your phone. Right. I don't I don't have a Garmin. I just press go and then it Perfect. like records. And it's cool like when you see the little trophies, you're like, ooh, what did I do oh, this time? Yeah. Like it's almost like you're trying to like, you're in competition uh -huh. with yourself. Yeah, one of the first challenges that I ever did and it was on the high carb vegan lifestyle was ride 100 kilometers. And that was like my biggest, one of my biggest like first accomplishments and it was through Strava. And it was like that. I don't know, one of the badges that you can get, you can do it every month, right, 100K or something. And yeah, like doing that like, got me so motivated and I just wanted to do more. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, so one of the big things is like definitely just get on Strava. And another thing that I did when I, when I was in St. Martin, when I got back to St. Martin was um, just meet up with friends or like people that you're inspired mm -hmm. by hang out with them and try and train with them and they're gonna be cool with you know even you're not gonna like in the beginning I thought you know maybe I'm gonna be holding them back because I'm not as fit yeah. but a lot of, a lot of people don't care about that you know they're, they're they want to help most athletes are just like yeah eager to help and see other people improve as well yeah and community is really helpful especially yeah. for me like I'm the slowest one up the mountain at least in the high carb community that's here right now and you know everyone encourages me even if i have to stop or something and take like a break people are like yeah you can do it. it it matters if you get to the top you know that's like the main thing and the fact that you tried and you did it mm -hmm. and people will encourage you and one of my like best friends now marielle i i did a race with her once and i actually came in last place in that race <laughs> and then i'm like man i just i want to be as good as her and let me find out like what is she doing you know how is she training yeah. And I just, yeah, started training with her in the beginning. It was tough. But now we're racing together and we're, like, pushing each other. And That's sometimes awesome. I win, sometimes she wins. So, yeah, really cool. Who is some of your inspirations either in, like, the fitness community, the high-carb community, or, like, who helps you and motivates you to keep on going and keep on mm. doing what you're doing? Um, yeah, I mean, receiving messages about, you know, people... Change, uh, going vegan after watching some of our videos and just improving and feeling better and losing weight and feeling happier and having more energy and one of my big inspirations actually is you 
and what? that's why I'm gonna have you on, on my on my channel next. Okay. Um, is just like your how strong you are and your your whole outlook on life and um, I don't know. I just think you're such a great role model for just a lot of people out there, but mostly for people that are struggling with like self-image issues. And wow. I wish, yeah, I wish I knew you when when I was like you know 40 pounds overweight and cared so much about what people thought. Um, yes, yeah, so you're definitely so an inspiration. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I just want to say also that. Um, you and as well as Kaylee is inspiration to me as well because I remember when I was doing my first first and only 100k ride it was she was part of the group and my goal the whole time mm -hmm. in my head was like be either behind Nicole or be beside when Nicole I was like oh my god banana TV is on the same ride yeah. as me and I was just like gotta keep up and I was in the back like the whole time but I did it and I was yeah. just like yes. awesome. so that was like inspiration and Kaylee is amazing shout out to Kaylee yeah she sends like big hugs by the way from Kaylee we I hug you see. back <laughs> love you I feel like the majority of the world might not you know do races or oh, yeah. do triathlons or Ironmans and it's I think it's amazing that you're doing it and the fact that you're doing it to represent the vegan community the high carb vegan community defending the animals and you don't need meat to be healthy you don't need mm -hmm. all this extra protein mm -hmm. but can you still be healthy and fit and get the body you want without doing an extreme amount of exercise. I even say absolutely. extreme, but I don't think what you're doing is extreme. I think it's, yeah. you have a lot of energy. No, absolutely. And a perfect example of that is my better half, Kaylee. She does hardly any exercise at all. Like she might, she does a couple lady, ride, lady rides and we just take some ladies out in St. Martin around our little lagoon. And she would do that like maybe twice a month or something like that. If you and take she's a, still, yeah, she's so fit. Take a look at my Strava. Take a look at hers. And yeah, her her passion isn't the same as mine. It's not, you know, doing crazy races and triathlons and going up the mountain every single day. Yeah. Um, and yeah, she's super fit. She, we eat pretty much the same. Um, and yeah, you, she's super healthy as well. You definitely don't have to work out like a crazy person. If you have the energy, by all means. Yeah, I mean, do if it. you want to, if you love it, do it. We're gonna do a video together for Banana TV, and I'll link that below once it's out. And mm -hmm. just want to say thank you, Nicole, for coming on the Kickass Compassion Channel. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Go vegan, stay vegan, and go kick some ass. Peace.